Hey guys, it's Sydney and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for all of you who subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscription button because I have so many videos for you guys that I'm super, super excited about. I've been listening to all your questions in the comments. You guys have been having such good ideas. I mean, I can barely keep up with them. So there's tons of videos coming up and today is a beauty video. So one question I've been getting a lot on both YouTube and my blog is about what lipsticks I'm wearing. So lip color can really change up your outfit. So today I want to talk about my favorite lipsticks that I'm currently wearing and just give you a little peek into my top reds, pinks, and my go-to every day. So really quickly, before I get into my favorite lipsticks, I want to tell you guys about how I prep my lips every morning. My lips get so chapped, I don't know why. I drink a ton of water, but I still wake up with chapped lips. So this is one of my favorite things. It's ELF Cosmetics Lip Exfoliator, and you basically just put it on like lipstick. You take a little bit of water, rub it onto your lips, wash it off, and your lips are really smooth. And then, of course, you wanna put on some chapstick. Once my lips are soft, then I put on my lipstick of the day. So I wanted to start off by talking about two of my favorite red lipsticks. Red lipstick is really great because if you're kind of having a bad day or you're not feeling so fabulous about yourself, you put on red lipstick and I don't know about you, but I instantly just feel glam. It's so cool. Um, and you don't need a ton of makeup. You can just do, you know, a lighter face, lots of mascara. So one red lipstick I'm really loving right now is from Marc Jacobs. It's called Oh, Miley. <laughs> it's a funny name. I feel like lipsticks always have the funniest names. But anyway, it's a really good basic red um, that's a lighter color. So I don't really like dark red lipsticks because I feel like it can age you sometimes. So I keep to lighter colors. Um, this one has a little bit of orange to it, which is great if you have a warmer skin tone like me. And it's so incredibly soft. Another red lipstick I've been wearing non-stop on my blog is this one from L'Oreal did a red lipstick collection based on a bunch of different actresses that they work with and the Julianne Moore one is my favorite. And I was really surprised because I have different coloring than Julianne Moore. You know, she's a redhead with fair skin and freckles. I obviously am brunette, sometimes blondish with a little bit more tanner skin, but this red just really works for me. It looks almost fluorescent when you see it up close, but when you put it on, it has this great red orangey feel and it's a lighter red, which makes makes it perfect for wearing for daytime. Now it's time to talk about bright pink. So I love using bright pink to add a pop of color. It's a little bit different than red. It's more playful and flirty, and it's a great way to transition to spring since spring is almost here, thankfully. Um, this pink I've been wearing for years. It's Bare Minerals Never Say Never. It's part of their Marvelous Moxie lipstick collection. And I think it's just a really fun pink. It has a little bit of a purple tone to it. It's really soft. Sometimes I'll layer it with a more coral lip gloss to kind of switch it up. So that's another thing that you guys can play around with is often I'll take the lipsticks and I'll add a different color gloss to kind of get a different look for my lipsticks when I'm out and about throughout the day. One little tip, if you wanna take your lipstick off when you're on the go, like let's say you're going to a date and you wanna switch into your more natural lipstick, is I always carry around these eye makeup remover pads because they take off color so, so easily. So you just wipe it off and then you're good to go. Another pink that I'm really loving right now is Tartist. It's by Tarte and it's actually a lip paint. So it's kind of a hybrid between a lip gloss and a lipstick, but when you apply it, it dries and it stays so long. I went out um, to dinner with one of my friends and it stayed on through Taco Tuesday, which is pretty impressive. Um, I just add a little bit of chapstick throughout the day and just dab it on and the color really lasts. This one is called So Fetch. Don't you love that name? It's like. So fetch, stop trying to make fetch happen. I don't know if you guys like Mean Girls, but I'm obsessed. Anyway, um, it's good because it has a lot of coral to it. So I really like pinks and reds, obviously that have a lot of orange tones, it just works for my skin. When it comes to everyday lipstick, I have a few that I rotate between. I like to have just a little bit of color on my lips. I've never been a fan of the nude lip. I feel like it washes me out. So I look for lipstick that either has a little bit of a dusty pink or a mauve or just a little bit of color. Um, this one I was actually introduced to during fashion week. So this is Mary Kay in Dusty Rose. And it was really cool because I got to attend the Project Runway show. So I don't know if you guys saw my Week in the Life of Fashion Week video, but it was so, so amazing. Um, and and this is the one they picked out for me and I've been wearing it ever since. I absolutely love it. It just has a tiny soft rose color to it. 
Another one of my favorite go-to everyday lipsticks is the Stila one. It's called Evangeline. I've been wearing it for years. And the way I think of it, it's kind of just like if you up the saturation on Instagram and you brought out what the natural color of your lip is like. Um, it has a bit of a mauve pink tone. Um, when you apply just one coat, it's pretty light. I applied a couple of coats here and sometimes I just put some gloss on top. And it's a really great everyday lipstick because it just makes you so you're not washed out but you don't have too much color on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my six favorite lipsticks. There's so many different ones, but these are the six that are in heavy rotation on my blog and in real life, because obviously I have a real life too. Um, so I'd love to hear what you guys think. And I listed every product below. So if you want to shop any of them, I did links below and let me know what you want to see next. So I really had fun doing this video for you because you guys asked me the questions, So I answered them. What do you want to see next? Do you want to see more beauty, more fashion? Just keep your comments coming. I love reading them. You guys are awesome. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Make sure to subscribe. And for more fashion and beauty inspiration, as always, you can check out my blog, sydneystyle.com, and hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. I have the links down below. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Bye, guys. <laughs>